Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. There's so much news to break down. Oh my god, like I I was editing my last video, which I've been editing for like forever. I have to stop because there's so much things to talk about. So let's just break it down. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tong, aka The Last Hot Sauce. I do all things related to Pokemon Go news, tips, tricks, and vlogs, and so hot sauce. Check out my website right here if you're interested and be a great way to support my channel. Alright, now let's get started. Alright, start off with the friendship. Today, we're going to have 12 days of friendship where you're going to get extra XP for interacting with your friends, battling, opening gifts, etc. You could be open, you're going to be able to open more gifts, I think about 30 gifts right now. And so, basically what they want to do is, they want to give everyone who is like straggling to like get to level 40, get to level 40. Because they finally are going to increase the level to level 50. Oh, and my god. Oh my god, it's gonna be a uh, to get up to level 50. <laughs> so, like I said in my previous video, where it's not gonna just have XP to get up to level 50, uh, you're gonna have to do certain things. And each level is, uh, well, it's, it's gonna be a doozy. So, let's just break down all the levels real fast. Uh, level 41 is gonna involve catching, so you're gonna have to do a certain amount of excellent throws, I believe. Uh, 42, level 42 is going to be dealing with evolution. So make sure you save up your evolution items like Sinnoh Stones, King's Rock, Dragon Scales, um, uh, all those evolution items because you're going to need them. Uh, I think they might be, they probably involve some kind of like evolution because they hint it in the, in the text. Uh, next up is 43, which you're going to have to do with gym battles and raid battles. 44 is going to be about PvP. Player versus, uh, player versus player, so make sure you step up your PvP game. Uh, I made a ton of videos on PvP for new players, so if you are still confused about you know PvP, the mechanics of it, what makes Pokemon good, um, what kind of IVs you need to look for, uh, for PvP sp uh, specifically, uh, you guys can check out my play playlist on PvP and you know if you guys have any questions about it, uh, definitely leave them down in the comments because I will be making more PvP videos. Um, so if you guys have any more like confusions about it, just leave them down in the comments and I'll make sure to address it in my next PvP video. Alright, move on to level 45. We got to deal with Team Rocket. 46, field research tasks. 47, uh, specific raid teams. So you're going to have to do raids um, with a limited amount of different types of Pokemon. That's what they're hinting at. Level 48 is going to be buddy and you have to walk a certain distance. I'm assuming you're going to have to like hatch eggs too. And you, you, I guess it has to do with, yeah, I guess souvenirs will be in play. I'm not sure exactly. I think you probably have to trade in your souvenirs to get to level 49. That would probably make sense. But, you know, I've collected a number of souvenirs already from, from my buddy. So make sure you get that, you know, that buddy walking with you right now. See, level 49 has to do with friendship with other trainers. Not exactly sure what this means on like how many like best friends you have, how many lucky friends you have. Um, so that's still a little unclear, but you know, make sure you get your friends, take care of your friends, opening gifts right now. And level 50, level 50 is kind of long. So like I couldn't like really like, you know, write down in like a paragraph, so. Uh, let's see, I'll just read it to you guys so I don't mess it up. Uh, let's see, oh, BTW, just a quick side note, we're going to get, of course, Candy XL, um, which is going to be, it, which is combining rare candies together for like a one massive piece instead of taking like a thousand space in your inventory. Alright, so level 50, this is it, the home stretch. To reach to the highest available level in Pokemon Go, you must master all aspects of the game. Some examples include making excellent throws, catching legendary Pokemon, defeating Team Go Rocket with Pokemon's under 1500 CP. Whew, okay. So you can tell this will be the ultimate test of whatever you're ready to stand among the most accomplished trainers in Pokemon Go. And of course, why is my phone doing this? Uh, you might also find yourself with a surprise avatar item in the end. Uh, I'm assuming this is like kind of like the Gyarados hat, which is like right here. Uh, we we'll probably get some. Yeah, we we'll probably get a lot of medals, a lot of items on the way to level 50. Uh, so this is the first time they have 
increase the level since the game has launched and they're not making it easy to get to level 50 you're going to, have to do a lot of things i like i have a screenshot right here of what you have to do um an idea to, um, to get up to level to get past level 46 you have to complete 100 field research uh take snapshots of a pokemon seven days in a row which i hate i hate these one day you know you know thing and you have to wait till the next day i absolutely hate them because uh, you can't get past it you know until seven days <laughs> uh, make 50 excellent throws if you guys have been, if you guys are having problems with making excellent throws check out my top 10 tips and tricks right here i talk about it and it's really easy to get it down once you once you like get down like the mechanics of like getting excellent throws you can do it every single time i i with enough practice of course and hatching 30 eggs Whew. So we may be like 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 isolated with Corona, but we're gonna be walking alone with thirty eggs for a little while. Whoo, damn! And to get to and to get past level forty six, you're gonna have to have fifteen million five hundred thousand XP. Wow, that's gonna take forever. So uh, uh, assuming we're gonna get a lot of XP events coming up soon. Uh, even right now we have XP events, so make sure you you know accumulate them. I wish I didn't throw away half my lucky eggs. Uh, I didn't think I would need them. I'm at 80 million XP right now, so hopefully this should get me up pretty far up the rank. Um, so I so I can just focus on the task at hand. Uh, so okay, 80 million XP. Okay, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. It's not some 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 friends I know are like. Yeah, 300 million XP right now, so they'll just jump up to level 50, no problem. But speaking of level caps, they're going to limit trainers for the Master League. So if you're like you're level 50 and you're PvPing in the Master League, you're not going to be able to use your, your Pokemon that is at level 50. It's going to be capped at level 40 or 41, I believe. Uh, maybe 40. Uh, probably 41 if you're best friend. Because you can't really stop that. That's the whole purpose of best friends. Uh, so you won't be like dominating the master league with your level 50 Pokemon. And it's going to be so expensive to level up. Because you know how it is at the very end. Like at the last like five, five power ups to like max out your Pokemon to like level 40. It just costs so much. So like I can't imagine. Like I can't imagine level up your Pokemon to level 50. And I have so many Pokemon that are 100% to level to level 50. Ah they need another Stardust event. They need like multiple Stardust event, because I won't be able to hang out with this. Let's see, Whew. all right, Shay. I uh... so segue on to seasons now. Uh, they're going to be implementing season in the game, which is going to last about three months at a time. And so basically, uh, once like one side of the Earth is going to be like winter, you're going to see more ice type Pokemon, something that is correlating to the weather. And it's going to change every three months. And also it's going to affect the wild spawns as well. So this could like, add, this is adding a lot of dynamic to the Pokemon spawn rate. But I don't know how much it's going to mess up the nest. I like nests in the games, but like if it's like always like changing up all the time, I, you know, you don't have enough time to enjoy the nest. Um, so I hope that they won't be like, you know, sporadically like changing the nest all the time. Uh, I wish they, I, w I would hope they keep the nest like time frame like every like week or two weeks to to rotate them But it is cool that they are implementing season in the game Speaking of seasons the PvP season will also correlate with the with the weather system in the game with the season in the game Which is going to last about three months. So a PvP season is gonna last three months as well And also with PvP they're going to move up the ladder from level 10 to level 24 now and if you haven't PvP much, now is the best time because it's so easy to get up to level 10. Because originally, whatever lose you get is going to subtract the points for you to move up, right? Now it's just they're just adding up the the wins instead of totaling the losses to to um, put you back. So it's super easy. I got to level 10 uh, last night. I finally got my Pikachu. Not shiny, but you know. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> so make sure you level up your PvP game. Again, check out all my videos on it. It's, it will help you out a lot. All right, so uh, segue on to 
Gen 6 and Mega Evolution. So Mega Evolution has been hinted that they are working on ways to use Mega Evolution more in the game. So I'm assuming that pretty soon we're going to be able to use Mega Evolution in PvP. And also Mega Evolution raids will be changed by the season as well. So that's, I, that, wow, seasons are really affecting in the game. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how they're going to do San, uh, California though, because it's kind of like, you know, beautiful spring all year round besides like two months of like winter. So I don't know how they could do that, but I'm assuming just go like a general like hemisphere, you know, one side is hot, one side is cold. Okay, well, I'm, I'm kind of trailing off now. <laughs> but speaking of Mega Evolution, Mega Evolution came out during Gen 6, Pokemon XY, and so they're gonna release Gen 6 around December 2nd is what they said. And I'm super excited about Gen 6 because as you guys probably all know about me already, I, I didn't get into Gen 6 when I was a kid. I got into Gen 1 and 2 and I stopped chasing Pokemon. I started chasing girls and that was the end of it. But I, I binge watched Pokemon XY on Netflix a few years ago to, to get up, to get to catch up with speed. And so just checking out Gen 6, it, it made me really excited about, about checking out Pokemon XY on Netflix. Uh, has made me very excited about Gen 6 because I'm super excited to use Greninja and all the other Pokemon. There's like a purple dragon, I forgot what it's called, but it's like that, I really want to use that. <laughs> uh, it was like Ash's Pokemon in, in Pokemon XY. Uh, I watched it in the background. I couldn't like watch it straight up because it was like a kiss show, but like I like learned about it just like, you know, in the background. <laughs> um, what else to talk about? Uh, celebrations and tons of research tasks are going to be coming up soon. In, in like the month of December. And BTW, if I didn't say already, which I probably didn't, you have until December 31st at 11.59 to get to level 40. And if you do that, you'll be able to get like a special level 40 badge, like a legacy badge, to, you know, show that you made it here before they increase the level, um, if you care. But if you don't, it's like whatever, you know? Let's see, uh, whew, what else, what else? What else? There's so much things. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, the weather nope i think that might be covering all of it right now at the moment Whew, that was a lot <laughs> all right some more news though uh news about me i have not been uploading as much as i wanted to and because uh well really because of my my wonderful laptop that i got from my girlfriend's sister uh it's a macbook pro but it's like five six years old so it's is not able to handle the the video editing as much as I would like. So I'm going to be buying a new laptop uh, this weekend. So expect more videos from me coming up soon because I will be able to edit faster and render and export faster because like sometimes my rendering takes like two hours for my videos and then like uploading it uh, takes like an hour. No, saving it takes an hour. Then uploading takes about an hour and it just takes a really long time sometimes. So thank you for being patient with my channel. I apologize a million times already about um, my, um, you know, my upload times, like, is all sporadic, so definitely new laptop is coming up. I'm going to be uploading more often and more frequently, so please expect that and look forward to it, hopefully, if you guys, you know, like my channel. <laughs> oh, and, uh, so check it out over here in the back. I've been watching Mystic 7 and Awesome Adam with all these Pokemon cards, and Pokemon cards are my my first love of Pokemon, really. I, I, I absolutely love Pokemon cards. I did one Pokemon card box opening, which didn't do too well, but like I figured uh, let's do something a little bit different. Uh, I want to have more live stream, so I'm setting that up still. Uh, and, and basically what I want to do is I want to battle you guys because I want to whoop some asses. And <laughs> just kidding. But basically, if you win... I will open a champion's pack, booster pack. And if I win, I'll open a darkness ablaze pack. You know, so something, you know, entertaining, a little different uh, with PvP. You know, something cool that we can enjoy together. So definitely look forward to my live stream coming up. I, I bought like six boxes. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So like they were going on, they were going online for like a hundred bucks. So. Randomly, I found a guy that
that was selling them for 60 bucks. So I'm like, oh hell yeah, I bought like five of them from the guy. <laughs> uh, because they, the, the, the original price is 50 bucks uh, and people were you know, reselling them. So when I found it for 60, I'm like, oh hell yeah, I'm getting on this. So I got a uh, number of boxes of this. Hopefully we can pull out a Rainbow Charizard. That would be a dream right there. I would be retiring from opening Pokemon cards ever afterwards, you know. So looking forward to that. And last news, I will be live streaming later on today. I'm going to be going to Savita Park to uh, lure it up to hopefully get a shiny Slowbro. So it will probably be around 6 o'clock today. Uh, six six o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. So whatever time zone you're in, uh, if you're free, please join me. Uh, I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I haven't talked to anybody in forever. I miss you guys. So please join my live stream and let's catch up. Talk about what's going on with each other's lives. You know, while you know we catch some Pokemon. And uh, yeah, I think that'll probably be it for this video. This is just purely just a news video. And like my room's a mess. There's like no lighting or whatever. It just it is what it is, and yeah, got the information to you guys. If you like this video though, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new and you want to see more videos from me, smash that subscribe button so you can see more videos from me when I upload more often when I get my new laptop very, very soon. Okay, you guys, I gotta get going to finish this video that has been like plaguing my life. And I'll see you guys later on today, hopefully, during my live stream, all right? Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys all very soon. Peace.